Chapter 5 Gulliver's Travel Before you read, have you heard of Christopher Columbus? He was the famous sailor who sailed across the world in his ship in search of India. But instead, he reached America. Some people are adventurous like Columbus. Then there are other people who are adventurous but only in their thoughts. One such person was Jonathan Swift, an Englishman who was very imaginative. He wrote a delightful story of a sailor who visited strange and unique lands in his quest for adventure. Let us read to find out more. I am only 42 years old. Still, I have already had many strange adventures in my travels to far off lands of the world. Strange adventures aren't what you'd expect from someone named Dr. Lamuel Gulliver. But being a doctor in London just didn't satisfy me. Traveling to distant lands in the world always fascinated me. So, after qualifying as a doctor, I signed up as a ship's doctor and spent three and a half years sailing around Europe. I accepted an offer from the captain of a ship named Antelope to be the ship's doctor on a voyage to the South Seas. We set sail from Bristol, England on May 4, 1699 and after peacefully crossing the South Seas, we were hit by a violent storm off the west coast of Australia. Poor food and too much work while braving the storm caused the death of 12 of our crew and weakened the rest. So, when the wind drove us onto some rocks and split the ship apart, only six seamen, myself included, had enough strength to get a lifeboat down into the sea and row clear of the ship and rocks. Suddenly, a strong blast of wind from the north overturned our little boat and scattered my companions. I never laid my eyes on them again. I began swimming in whichever direction the wind and the waves pushed me. I don't know how many hours I spent struggling, but just when I was completely exhausted and water seemed to be filling my lungs, my feet suddenly touched bottom. I took in several mouthfuls of air and looked up to heaven. It must have been about eight in the evening, the storm had decreased and there was enough light to make out land about a mile away. I spent the next two hours trying to drag myself towards the shore. I was so weak and tired when I finally limped out of the sea that I dropped down on a patch of soft grass. Within moments, I was sound 
asleep children now let us read and understand the new words and their meanings from the chapter adventures unusual and exciting experiences distant far away fascinated strongly attracted voyage long journey violent very forceful or powerful braving to face with courage drove pushed split to break scattered to spread in different directions exhausted very tired drag to pull limped walked with difficulty